Good morning. It is about 10 minutes before 10 o'clock on Monday after the blizzard of 2016 and we're just uh, driving around Downingtown, checking things out, seeing what's open, how the roads are, what's going on. I just passed uh, Bruno Shell Station on Whiteland and 30 and they're uh, that gas station has not been plowed out yet, so if you need gas, uh, don't go there. I also just left Lowe's, and uh, as I was there, they had, uh, I'd say about six pallets full of salt. And they were getting uh, delivery of some new shovels as I was there. So if uh, you broke your shovel or you just need an extra, uh, Lowe's has them, uh, but I imagine they will not last long. Anyway, here I am on uh, Business Route 30 and uh, coming through the center of town here. Uh, most of this seems to be safe and passable. The lanes, one of the big problems is the lanes that are open are considerably narrower than uh, what they normally are. So be patient. Uh, if some guy's in your lane, uh, just know that he might not have any choice so just like I said be patient um, no free parking in Downingtown right now uh, no uh, that is not an editorial comment that is just merely an observation anyway I'm going to turn here on Wallace Avenue it's kind of difficult to make the turn because of the high piles of snow Everywhere, the sound of snow blowers and plows are very much evident. <clears throat> As you can see, Wallace Avenue is a bit narrower than usual. It's going to be a little bit warmer today, so a lot of this should melt off. A lot of it, but certainly not all of it. It's going to be warmer throughout the week. Chance to get out there and break that stuff up and remove that pile or snow before freezes into a chunk of ice. I understand some of the uh, West End neighborhoods uh, are still still pretty impassable. Uh, Mary Street, William Street in particular. That was as of last night. We're going to drive down there and uh, see how far I can get. hope that our uh, Borough Streets Department employees have been getting some rest. Uh, they've been out, some of them just over 24 hours straight, taking little naps back at the station, and there's still a lot of work to be done, that's for sure. And I'm very, very, very appreciative of the work that they have done for us. Here I am on Pennsylvania Avenue, crossing over Downing, very narrow. Two cars can pass, but not at every spot, so. Looks like it's pretty slick here. A lot of cars still buried out, haven't been dug up yet. Up ahead, you'll see a burrow plow. I'm turning on the Stewart Avenue here, and I quickly may be regretting this. Completely, completely ice and, and snow packed. Very, almost completely impassable. I'm thinking that maybe uh, going down William Street is probably not a good idea. Uh, I can't move my dash cam as I I want to point out that this is a dash cam I'm not holding a camera I just kind of hit the button to record when I was stopped at a red light and I am NOT going to go down William it doesn't look like a plow's been down there Mary Street uh, again 
it's a recipe for getting stuck as bad as what you see in front of you this is at least packed snow the snow on William Street and Mary Street is uh, it's got tire tracks but certainly has not been plowed I'm working my way down Stewart Avenue here um, coming down to Manor Avenue need neighborly cooperation that's for sure I mean just if you dig yourself out uh, legally there's no such thing as a safe parking spot so if you're thinking of putting a lawn chair there or some cone or something like that uh, that's all well and good and you know it would be nice if other people would be courteous and dig out their own spot but if you leave and come back and somebody's in that spot that you uh, shoveled out, well, that's life. Uh, don't take the law or matters into your own hand. Uh, I'm coming down here on Madison Avenue. You know, I saw that plow up ahead on Pennsylvania. I was going to get on Pennsylvania Avenue, and uh, but I'm going to let him do his work and stay out of his or her way. Uh, shout out to Lexi Law, my friend, out there kicking ass this weekend. I'm going to hit pause right now and stop this recording and uh, hope that gives you a little bit of a glimmer of what it's like on this morning of Monday, January 25th, uh, coming up on 10 o'clock. Thank you.